Hello again. Today I'm going to talk to you about another book. It's been a while since I've done a book in my series. Uh, books to inspire you. So, um, this time it's a not my sort of typical selection. It's a book by uh, a Canadian author called Naomi Klein, who has written about seven or eight books now. But this particular book is her first book called No Logo which was published in 2000. And uh, looking at it now, from you know 20 years odd hindsight, you can see um, the sort of logical progression from what she's talking about, which is very much of a corporate takeover, particularly in North America she's talking about. And... Uh, the beginning of branding, the beginning of um, large scale sort of overwhelming of small business and the prevalence of designer brands in clothes and in all kinds of areas of life where um, the actual name became more important than the product that you're selling. I mean, there's always been brands, things like Coca-Cola and Heinz Beans, etc. They've been around for, for a very long time. Um, but only in certain areas of life were big brands sort of really well known. For instance, like uh, the vacuum cleaner becoming known as a Hoover. Hoover is just a brand. Or Tannoy, which is a type of personal address system. And Sellotape. Uh, you know, that's just one brand of tape. So these have become part of the English language, but um, really they're just brand names. But that kind of thing used to be relatively rare. But uh, she traces the beginnings of this in her book and how in these brands have build, been built up into icons, how sort of this sort of corporate synergy has taken over the whole world. And she was very critical of what was going on then and the social implications. So looking at it 20 years later, we see how far this has progressed and how much the internet and social media has played into this even more. So, um, yeah, I found this book very interesting at the time. And in a way, it's really interesting to read it now as a snapshot on a process that was already well advanced 20 years ago. And when we see where we are now, where, you know, you could even argue that governments are in the pockets of corporations now. Uh, if they weren't then, they certainly are now. And uh, very much we we live in a world that is completely dominated by the corporate sector. So I, I think it's a, a very interesting book and well worth, one well worth reading. And if you haven't heard of her... Um, you might also want to check out her other books. She's um, she's quite outspoken, and she you know she's um, uh, be, she you know she's Jewish, but she's actually been quite critical of Israel, and she's also got some strong views on environmentalism as well and uh, politics in general. So she's a very interesting author, and uh, well worth taking a look at. Okay, that's all I've got to say for today, and. Uh, Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.